You knew at six, they are two things you wouldn't expect to intersect ballet and sex trafficking. A ballet company out of Chicago bringing its unique performance here to San Antonio, where one of their dancers was born and raised. She tells Courtney Friedman the importance of artists using their voices for social justice. A few years ago, San Antonio teenager Rachel Walker saw Chicago's Ballet 58 perform at the Lila Cockrell Theater and was impressed by the issues they took on. That's part of the reason why I joined this company is because I'm somebody who doesn't want to shy away from the hard things. After two years dancing professionally with the company, Walker is headed home to dance in a ballet about sex trafficking. I think many people are aware of sex trafficking, but they kind of just brush it off as like, this doesn't really apply to me. Executive Director Lauren Diaz says every city where they perform, they partner with a local organization and donate part of their proceeds. In San Antonio, that organization is Ransomed Life, which serves exploited children and offers educational community trainings about the prevalence of trafficking. It's happening in every corner of San Antonio. It's happening in Bernie, Texas. It's happening in New Braunfels, Texas. Communications Director April Molina says people need to know what trafficking looks like and how to report it. There are predators in New Jersey reaching girls here in San Antonio. The common denominator with trafficking is the phone. It's online. A reality that's given 19 year old Walker a true sense of purpose. We're presenting an issue that is so downplayed, I guess, in our society. There will only be one show here downtown San Antonio at the Lila Cockrell Theater on November 6th. The Ransom Life staff will be here if you come and you can ask them any questions you have about trafficking or book a training session for your workplace or your church. We've all the information on KSAT.com. Reporting downtown, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.